guys, it's Shannon. Today I'm going to be unbagging my August Ipsy bag. The theme is back to school, so appropriately it comes in this really cute pencil pouch. Um, this is the first year that I'm not going back to school, but I'm not going back to college, I'm not doing anything, so it feels really weird that I'm not, but hey, that's what happens when you're a grown-up. But I think the bag's really cute. It's white with orange polka dots. It's kind of got that plasticky feel, so you can wipe things off of it. So if I was going back to school, I'd definitely use this. You got... Um, five products this month so I will show you I've used them all I'm wearing all of them today so I will give my review on them and then leave all the products down below with coupon codes and all that jazz that way you guys can grab some if you like what you see so first product in here is from Coastal Scents and it's just a sample of their forever blush and it's two perfectly pigmented shades of blush and there's 18 shades all together so this is what it looks like they're really tiny but they pop out, if you guys can see, and they have magnets on the other side, so you can put them in a palette, which is actually really nice. So the first one, I don't know if they have names. No. The first one's more of like a bronzy orange one right there. I don't know what this mark is, but it's right there. And then the other one is a slightly shimmery pink right there. So they're very pigmented. And yesterday I wore the pink, but I didn't put it on as heavy as I wanted so you couldn't really see it but today I actually put my brush down the center of both of them and then mix them together on my cheeks and I think it gives me a very bronzy pink glow that I really like they are a bit chalky when you swatch them but I don't think they look chalky on my cheeks or anything so we'll see how they last throughout the day but I think this is really cute and you can actually the codes right on here you can get 25% off at coastal Sense with the code blush 25 off but yeah, that was a cute little blush sample. I haven't gotten a blush from Ipsy in a while, so that was fun. The next thing I actually just did yesterday, I posted a first impression of this mascara. It's the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. This is what it came in. This is a sample size. So it came in here. Um, I love this mascara. I'm wearing it today. I am very picky with my mascaras, and I think this does a great job at volumizing as well as lengthening. It stays on all day. It doesn't smudge, so I would definitely get your hands on this mascara. It was awesome. Next, this is full size. This is from Absolute New York, and it's You're the Balm Green Apple. Um, just lip balm. It's funny, it's called Green Apple, but it's like red, but that's because it's tinted. I'm wearing it today. It's just a nice, light, flushy color, and it is very moisturizing. And it smells like green apples, so that is really nice to throw in your bag or put in your makeup bag. That way, in the morning, you could put it on and... It kind of helps remind you to moisturize your lips, especially before like lip color or in place of lip color since it is tinted. Two more things. The next one is from Dr. Brandt and it's a face primer. It's Pores No More Pore Refiner Primer. I actually already owned this in a sample size that I got from Sephora, so I use it. I think it does a great job at smoothing out the face before foundations and minimizing pores, so I would definitely recommend picking this up. I wish it's for oily combination skin. I wish it was a little bit more mattifying as I do have oily skin and throughout the day I have to blot and this doesn't really help with my oil situation. It doesn't make it worse but it's just my skin is the same oil as any other day. So I wish it was a little bit more mattifying but it does help a lot with making your foundation look smooth and poreless. And then the final thing in here is another sample size and it's from Lord & Berry. I've never heard of that brand and it's an eyeliner it's called the black silk mini coal eyeliner it's just a mini pencil um, I was a little iffy when I saw I was getting this because I don't use pencil eyeliners I use felt tip ones because I always feel like pencil ones they tug and they pull and they're dry and then you have to um, sharpen them but this one actually glides on so smooth I don't I put it underneath my eyes the other day and it smudged onto my lower ones so I don't do that anymore I put my felt tip underneath and then I put this one on top and it lasts all day I have no problem with it now smudging it's I don't know what it is about my under eyes but only my felt tip eyeliner can be under it even the Urban Decay 24 7 eyeliner smudges so it must be my eyes but this stuff is awesome and it's really cute. I just wish I didn't have to sharpen it, so I have to go find a sharpener. But I like it. It creates that nice smoky effect. You can smoke it out. You can keep it crisp. So I definitely like this pencil. If you like pencils, this is great. So yeah, that is my bag for Ipsy. The thing I'm most excited about is probably, honestly, the mascara. I think it's amazing. I'm thinking about purchasing it. And then... um 
I was going to say the thing I'm not most excited about, but I like everything. Um, give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for monthly unbaggings. Um, down below, let me know if you got an Ipsy bag and if you got different stuff, what your take was on your bag. I love to hear what you guys get and um, if you like stuff because then I can use the coupon codes on Ipsy to grab what you guys got. And I will talk to you guys later.